Hey, we are grill side this morning because it is National Burger Month. People Yay. starting to get outside, get on the grills. We've got Angie Horkin with Wisconsin Beef Council. What are we cooking up today, Ange? Okay, so I have two different slider recipes. Um, I kind of love sliders. You can feed a lot more people, just little bites. It's kind of fun, handheld, perfect for entertaining. And I love starting summer grilling season with burgers. It just seems like the right fit. Yeah. Burgers are so popular. Quintessential summer. Um, yeah, so I do have some burger on burger examples because when you go to the supermarket, there's a lot of ground beef. It's overwhelming. It is a little overwhelming. So you can get really lean, like a ground round, down to just a ground beef at 80 20. I like kind of the middle. So, like a 90% lean, an 85% lean, especially for grilling, because grilling is a low fat cooking method. Okay. Because you're going to lose your fat through the grill grates. Mm. If you do like go with an 80% lean 20% fat just watch for flare-ups but they're gonna taste amazing mm -hmm. so speaking of Ooh. that let's get right into our recipes okay so I have a Western slider I started with the little mini Hawaiian buns oh cute okay and my spatula then I just got a nice little burger patty I did a little salt and pepper I put on some cheddar so some great Wisconsin cheddar Love so how, ma how many mini patties do we think is equivalent to a single one Okay, so six? <laughs> our, I made six with a pound. Oh, oh wow. six. Okay. Okay, I made six with a pound. But like our recipe on the website says eight. Oh. That'd be really small. Yeah. For, especially for Wisconsin. You know, we like bigger. <laughs> so six, so that'd be a sixth of a pound instead of like four quarter pound. So maybe one and a half. Yeah. You know, that'd be yeah. serving. Okay, that's our quick math. <laughs> okay, so then on the Western burger. We do a little romaine. I'll just dress one. Oops, it's all over. Some pickles, some dill pickles, some pickled jalapeno, if you like. French fried onions, which is kind of different. Oh, yes, please. Okay. They get a little tall. And then some barbecue sauce, of course, because it's Western. Got to do a little barbecue. It's whatever your favorite barbecue is. Oh, yum, Ange. Okay, that one's going to be hard to eat. It's really tall. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, second burger. These are called the Cheesehead Sliders, and I think our national office called them Cheesehead just because there's beer in them. You know, they think we, that's what they think Wisconsin is, cheese and beer. Cheese and beer. But, okay, so in this one, I mixed a half of a cup of beer into the beef. Okay. With some garlic and some breadcrumbs and salt and pepper. What kind of beer, Ange? I just grabbed a light beer out that's of the refrigerator. That's your go-to, light beer, okay. I just grabbed a light beer out of the refrigerator. <laughs> I didn't buy anything special. But if you do use a heavier beer, you'll probably be able to taste it. Mm. You know, so whatever you like, yeah. you know, your favorite beer. Then this recipe says to top it with cheese spread. So like the cheese that you get for cheese and crackers. Oh, interesting. Use this and it's really good. And then in the supermarket, there's all different flavors of cheese spread. Like the one with port wine. You got wine, the port wine. The that's, that's my go-to. Right, I got one here. Oh, that's so creative. Herb. It is very creative. And it's so easy. Okay, this is these aren't even really recipes. Just go home and make them. You don't even <laughs> need the recipe. Yes, but they do, Ann. If you want to go to beeftips.com <laughs> and click on Ad Scene on TV. I've got links to all the burger recipes. All about burger. So if you have questions shopping, meat thermometer too, the temperatures, make sure you bring your patties up to 160. Gotcha. For a safe and savory grill out. And, and how long on the grill? Not about. very long for these little babies. I did about three, four minutes aside. Oh, quick. Okay. And then temp horizontally right in with your little meat thermometer and check it. Well, there you have it. Angie, thank you. You're welcome. Have a great burger month. You too.